Alright guys, so today I was actually gonna upload a different video. I was gonna upload a live gameplay video where I use a new LMG that is the Tiger Shark on Black Ops 4, but I decided to delay that video and talk about today's different topic, and that is Black Ops 5 is coming in 2020. You know, I don't even know where to begin. Should I begin talking about how we're already talking about Call of Duty 2020 instead of talking more about Call of Duty 2019? Or should I also talk about how Black Ops 5 is actually a thing and we're gonna be getting it in 2020? You know, it's funny because seven months ago, we got Black Ops 4 and we're still in its life cycle. We still have like four to five months left in this life cycle and we're already talking about the next Black Ops game that's gonna be coming out in 2020. And what's even funnier is many of us, including myself, were joking around saying that imagine we get like a Black Ops 5, Black Ops 6, Black Ops 7, Black Ops 8, Black Ops 9, Black Ops 10, and so on and so forth. But guess what? We're actually getting it. We're now getting a Black Ops 5 and again, I know I said this many times, it's coming in 2020. Now all of the information that I'm gonna be providing in this video is coming from Charlie Intel who are known to be the best reliable sources for Call of Duty news, leaks, rumors, etc. So earlier today Call of Duty news or Charlie Intel and I'll put it up on the screen so you guys can read it as well with me but they came out and said on Twitter that breaking Kotaku says that Black Ops 5 coming from Treyarch in 2020. Sledgehammer Games and Raven are supporting Treyarch on developing the title. Now right when I saw that this morning I was like what? Wait hold up this has got to be like a late April Fool's joke or something because there is no way that we already got a confirmation on Call of Duty 2020 and there is no way it's gonna be another Black Ops game, Black Ops 5. And pretty much a lot of people in the Call of Duty community reacted the same way. Everybody was shocked, surprised, amazed, or not really amazed but just confused. Like how are we getting another Black Ops game already? And we're currently in Black Ops 4's life cycle and we already got confirmation on another Black Ops game. Then moments after that tweet, Charlie Intel came out with another tweet and said more. Raven Software was initially assigned to be the lead developer development studio for 2020 game with such hammer games supporting them this week activision changed course treyarch is making new black ops for 2020 instead so there you go guys another confirmation saying that call of duty 2020 is going to be black ops 5 and it's actually being worked on by treyarch not sledgehammer games surprisingly now we'll get into why sledgehammer games is not making call of duty 2020 anymore in just a moment but after that uh charlie Intel came out with another tweet and said wow kotaku reports that the reason why 2020 Call of Duty game is a mess is because of a major tension between Raven Software and Sledgehammer Games. So 2020 game was a mess. Activision put Treyarch in charge now. So there you guys have it. I guess that's the reason why Sledgehammer Games is no longer making Call of Duty 2020 because they got into an argument or a dispute with Raven Software and Activision came in and said, nope, you guys are not making Call of Duty 2020 anymore because the game is a mess. It's basically, I guess, unfinished and it looks horrible. So they put Treyarch in charge and they're going to be making call of duty 2020 now which wow guys that is insane man sledgehammer games is no longer going to be making call of duty no more they're still going to be engaged and you guys will see momentarily why but let's go on with the tweets then charlie Intel came out with another tweet and said news kotaku reports that activision executives have discussed including a free-to-play component for this year's new modern warfare game so basically they're kind of confirming now that modern warfare 4 is going to have some game modes or some aspects of it that are going to be free for all people without charging them a single penny. I really wish that they could say Modern Warfare 4 is going to be free, like the whole entire game, but obviously knowing Activision, that will never happen. So yeah, there is a little bit of Call of Duty 2019 news, right? And it gets even more exciting. Then Charlie Ento tweeted, Kotaku's report states that Sledgehammer Games and Raven were working on a Cold War based Call of Duty game for 2020. What they've been working on will be transformed into the single player campaign for Black Ops 5. Oh my my goodness guys I'd be lying if I said I'm not a little bit hyped but I'm honestly a little hyped because they said that Call of Duty 2020 basically Black Ops 5 is gonna be taking place during the Cold War and I'll get into that in just a little bit after I'm done reading all of these tweets I want to read these tweets first and then I'm gonna tell you guys how I feel about Call of Duty 2020 now so then Charlie Ento came out and said to clarify based on Kotaku's report 2019 Call of Duty is a new model for a game and 2020 Call of Duty will be Black Ops 5 so yeah I guess that's another conversation Call of Duty 2019 is for sure going to be a new Modern Warfare game, which is most likely going to be Modern Warfare 4. That's the only thing that comes after Modern Warfare 3, right? Obviously. And then 2020, Black Ops 5. Oh my lord. After that, Charlie Ento tweeted, 2020 Call of Duty game will also be the first time that a Call of Duty game is released under a two-year development cycle since 2014. The last two-year development cycle Call of Duty game uh, from Treyarch was Black Ops 2 in 2012. Damn, guys. So that is actually kind of bad because what they're basically 
basically implying here is that Treyarch only has two years, not even two years, like a year and a half to make Black Ops 5, and yo, that is not good. Then they went on to say that Kotoku also mentioned that they will have more articles in the coming weeks about what happened at Treyarch during Black Ops 4's development. We will update you when those are shared. And he also said one more additional note from Kotoku's report. Sledgehammer Games has been losing a lot of developers over the last year. Many have been recruited to work with Conjury at his new studio with 2K. So yeah, I guess many devs from Sledgehammer Games have been leaving and it's been making it a little bit harder for Sledgehammer Games to make Call of Duty 2020, I guess. Maybe that might be another reason right there, but I'm not too sure. And finally, the last tweet Charlie Ento came out with today regarding this topic is breaking news. Kotoku reports that Call of Duty 2020 from Sledgehammer Games is on hold. Treyarch developing new Black Ops games for 2020 release. Oh wait, hold up guys. I just realized I read all of that in the wrong order. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that right there was actually one of the first tweets they came out with today. My bad guys, but you guys get what I'm saying, right? Basically 2020, Call of Duty 2020 is going to be Black Ops 5 and uh, Sledgehammer Games is no longer making it. You guys know what I mean, right? I apologize though for <laughs> reading it in the wrong order. But damn guys, this is insane. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is actually the first time this has ever happened in Call of Duty history where a development team has been pulled out of the current Call of Duty they're making and they put in a different Different development team such as Treyarch to work on it for that year. Now guys my opinions and thoughts on this are I'm actually a little bit nervous but at the same time it may be surprising for me to say this but I'm actually also a little bit hyped about it. The reason why I'm a little hyped about this is because they said that Call of Duty 2020's campaign is going to be based on the Cold War and there is only one Call of Duty game in the Call of Duty franchise that took place during the Cold War and I'm sure everybody knows it especially me and that is Black Ops one. Oh my goodness guys, my favorite Call of Duty game of all time. This is why I'm a little bit hyped because if it's gonna be based on the Cold War, then who is here to say that this Call of Duty game coming in 2020 may be a little similar to Black Ops 1. A little bit, not entirely, but just a little bit. And if they're really gonna be going back to the Cold War days and this Call of Duty title is gonna be named Black Ops 5, then this obviously has to be a prequel because it will not make sense at all if this took place after Black Ops 4 or Black Ops 3 because the Cold War War, that is obviously before the years 2065 and 2040. They're gonna have to add a bunch of old school characters from Black Ops 1, such as Mason, Woods, Reznov, Hudson, Steiner, Dragovich, uh, Kravchenko, etc. Now, do I believe that Treyarch will be able to successfully pull this off and make another Cold War Call of Duty game that takes place before Black Ops 1 or just a little after Black Ops 1, like a prequel or something? Honestly, guys, I don't know, but at the same time, I have a feeling that Treyarch will be able to pull it off a little bit. I don't think they'll be able to finish the whole entire game by day one by launch day but who knows man i may be wrong there is hope though treyarch has been in this situation before where they only have two years to make a call of duty game in the golden age of call of duty where there were only two development teams treyarch and infinity war for those of you guys i may not remember before sledgehammer games came in and became a development team for call of duty there were only two development teams uh treyarch and infinity war and they were able to make really good call of duty games in only two years and remember the games we're talking about our Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, and we can even go a little further back and talk about World at War and COD 4 Modern Warfare. Treyarch and Infinity Ward only had two years to make those games that were really successful and many people like to consider them a part of the golden age of Call of Duty. Now, I don't know what has been going on these past years with Call of Duty because instead of two years, they had an extra year. Three years to complete their Call of Duty game, but it somehow it's not finished by launch date. Before World War 2, I heard Sledgehammer Games were actually working on advanced Warfare 2 for Call of Duty 2017 and I guess they scrapped it because a lot of people uh, saw all the negative feedback on Infinite Warfare and people wanted a boots on the ground game, they want to go back to World War 2 and not the jetpack era therefore they scrapped Advanced Warfare 2 and made World War 2 and it wasn't finished by launch day because you know they only had a little bit of time to finish the whole entire game like a year and a half and then Black Ops 4 was also scrapped, oh my goodness they were going to make like a Halo Overwatch type game and it was completely different to what we got today and that was also scrapped halfway through his development cycle. I think they only had a year and a half to make the whole entire game. The Battle Royale, Blackout, Multiplayer, and Zombies. And therefore, they also scrapped Campaign because they will not have enough time to finish the whole entire game by launch date. And I mentioned this because, again, Treyarch is only going to have a year and a half to make Black Ops 5, and I don't know if they're going to be able to finish it on time. That kind of makes me a little bit nervous, but at the same time, Sledgehammer Games and Raven Software are working with Treyarch on Black Ops 5. It's not like Treyarch is only working on Black Ops 5 by themselves. No. Charlie Ento did state 
that Sledgehammer Games and Raven Software are working as support development teams for Treyarch on Black Ops 5. So yeah, they're going to be helping out Treyarch on creating Black Ops 5 and hopefully it will be done by launch date. I don't know guys, this is just a really weird time for Call of Duty right now. I did not expect this at all that Sledgehammer Games are no longer going to be making Call of Duty games anymore. And that does make me a little bit sad to be honest because I was looking forward for Sledgehammer Games next title. I didn't really play Advanced Warfare because it wasn't too appeasing to me but I did play World War 2 a lot. I played it for the whole year and I made it to Master Prestige level 723 so I was really hyped for Sledgehammer Games next Call of Duty title but now Treyarch is working on it for 2020 or yeah for the year 2020 and it's gonna be Black Ops 5. But I don't know about Black Ops 5 because after seeing what we got with Black Ops 4 and multiplayer Blackout and Zombies which let me just go over these games real quickly. Blackout, I love Blackout. That's probably the best game on the Black Ops 4. It's polished, really balanced, and finished in my opinion. And also, Zombies would be like the second best game mode because it's pretty good as well. Zombies is always fun, but it just needs more content. That's all. It doesn't really get too much love like Blackout does. And then we have Multiplayer, which is a complete disaster. I guess all we have to do now is just hope that Black Ops 5 is pretty good. But I am a little hyped about it because, again, it's going to be taking place during the Cold War. So, who knows, man? It may be like a Black Ops 1 type game and ooh, that would be pretty good if you ask me. But anyways guys, that is pretty much all I wanted to talk about in this topic. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And turn on post notifications so you guys are alerted every single time whenever I upload. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about Call of Duty 2020 being Black Ops 5. Are you guys actually hyped? Are you guys nervous, scared, mad about it? Anything, let me know in the comments down below because I have many mixed feelings about it. And also guys, I want to apologize for two things. I apologize for going all over the place in this video like I went from topic to topic because I don't know man I just feel like everything is kind of connected and I also want to apologize for not uploading my live gameplay today Where I use the Tiger Shark LMG and try to do as good as I can with it, like I normally you know do with the new weapons on Black Ops 4 It's just that this breaking news came out of nowhere and I had to make a video on it because this topic is very big Especially for the Call of Duty franchise right now You know one solution I would suggest for Activision to take into consideration is giving Modern Warfare for four, a two year life cycle instead of a one year life cycle because honestly Black Ops 5 may not be finished by launch date. Or hell, they could even give Black Ops 4 another year and same thing with MW4, two years right there so they're gonna have even more time to finish Black Ops 5 but at the same time I don't think it's gonna happen because Call of Duty 2020, not 2021 or 2022 is gonna be Black Ops 5. Again guys just let me know in the comments down below your guys' thoughts and opinions about this topic because this was so unexpected. When I woke up this morning I was just thinking about making that type Tiger Shark LMG live gameplay video today, not this video. It was just so like, wow, I did not expect any of it. But anyways, guys, for the last time, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to drop a like and hope you guys have a nice and wonderful Sunday. And with all that being said, it's been John. Ready to get back on the grind here on Black Ops 4, trying to make it a level 600. And also, I will be uploading that Tiger Shark LMG video this Thursday. Again, I apologize for the delay. And I'm out. Peace.